Over the last 20 years, the charity has developed and supported what is now a very extensive epilepsy research program that really places it amongst the world leaders in epilepsy research. At the Chalfont campus, there is the Brain Imaging Centre, where there is a state-of-the-art MRI scanner that has allowed us over the last decade and more to find out what is wrong with the brain structurally that may give rise to epilepsy. We've also made fundamental advances in understanding the effect epilepsy may have on the brain. And further, more recently, we've developed the techniques called functional MRI and tractography. These are new methods that allow us to determine whereabouts in the brain, in, in individual patients, key functions such as language, memory, and emotion and vision are carried out. And we can then determine whether epilepsy is affecting these functions. The epilepsy genetics program uh, supported by the charity has developed over the last decade and is gaining in stature and strength uh, each, as each year goes by. Our hope and expectation is that looking at the individual DNA fingerprinting profile of each individual person will better allow us to pick the best drug for each person early on in their treatment. About two-thirds of people who develop epilepsy can be well treated with the medications that we have available. The real challenge facing us is to better treat the one person in three for whom the currently available medications does not give complete seizure control. What I would hope that over the next 10 to 20 years our treatment will get more sophisticated, will be more precise and that little by little more and more people will have their epilepsy entirely controlled with medicines or perhaps with surgical treatment if there is an area that can be defined that could be removed to make them better and the numbers of people who have to live with seizures you know, week in week out will get less and less. Supporting epilepsy research is one of the key aims of the charity and it does this to the tune of a quarter of a million pounds per year and this of course is money that has to be raised by generous donations from benefactors, trusts and corporations to allow the research to carry on and without this support the epilepsy research program would essentially fold up.